today. Geo from Aurora Solutions. And today I wanted to address how we see ourselves as, as people. And one of the big stumbling blocks to leadership. Um, in our society, the pervasive paradigm is around doing. You know, um, I've got um, young adult children. One's just finished high school. One's just finished university. And the question that they're most asked at these points in their lives is what are you going to do next year? Right? It's, a, it's a legitimate question. You know, one's finished a degree, looking for a job to you know, accommodate what she's learnt in that degree. The other one's finished high school, and what degree should I choose that would align with um, who I am and what I want to do in my life? But the doing part of it, as we know, those that are old enough, uh, old enough to know, that we've travelled our lives um, and had many career changes. So what I'm going to do is not so critical when I'm 18 years of age. But learning who I'm going to be while I'm doing the stuff that I'm going to do is more important. But we don't focus a lot on that. And what I've seen through these two um, kids and their peers is that these moments in their lives, quite a bit of... Um, you know, stress and anxiety can be built in and around it. And so I'd just like to dive into that today. So we value ourselves. How do I value myself and others? Well, the question is, is that we genuinely value ourselves on our achievements. You know, the work output that we have, how busy I am, a lot of, you know, adrenaline gets going through your, um, your system when we're really busy and can quite often get a real kick out of getting a lot of stuff done and how much I contribute to my workspace, to my community, to my family, whatever it happens to be. And there's nothing wrong with any of this. Absolutely, 100% want to be full contributors to society, to community, to family. But when I hold that as the pervasive way on how I value myself as a human being, then if any of that should change for whatever reason, then fundamentally what happens as a person is I lose touch with who I am because I've done all of this based on an external measurement because this is all external. My achievements are about reviewing and acknowledging something that is external to me. The work output is being measured based on how many of my to-dos I've got done this week. You know, How busy I am is definitely um, you know, an external and how much I contribute is definitely. Now, a very subtle shift to this is about valuing myself on who I am. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't go and create all of this. I can. But my, my fundamental paradigm shifts to a point of who am I being, because I'm a human being, not a human doing. But all too often in society today, particularly Western society, we are on the train running like the clappers, trying to get ourselves to do more, hoping that we'll feel better about ourselves in the doing. We get so busy that we've got no time to be a human being, smell the roses, enjoy life, enjoy the interactions with our families. Often we come home from work stressed to the eyeballs and the people who we're doing this for, who we're looking to feed, who where you know looking to support and, and contribute to the most important people, our family, we speak too poorly because we're angry, tired, fatigued, whatever it happens to be. Just note that this is a normal human reaction, but it is becoming because our fundamental way of looking at things, our paradigm of looking at things is based on our doing rather than who we've been. So for me, leadership comes in and around about who am I being in this moment? Am I being connected? Am I being truthful, loving and connected? Am I being truthful, 100% truth? These are three of the pillars that we work on. And being responsible, rather than reactive, responsible, responsible. Able to respond any way I choose, rather than just snapping and, um, and re reacting to a situation or retreating and going into myself and not speaking for, for days, weeks, whatever it happens to be. Am I able to choose a response that's higher than that? That's more centered to who I want to be? Because when we don't, what happens is, is that we feel 
um, disconnected from ourselves. We feel stressed. We feel tired. We feel sad, you know. And not necessarily at the surface, but these are deep down um, feelings. Sometimes they come right up. And so therefore, this leads to the rise in anxiety, depression in our society. And Western society right now has got an epidemic for that. And that's because we value ourselves on who, on what we're doing rather than who we're doing. So the three pillars of my program are to love and value yourself or be connected to yourself. Be connected to your space of loving and caring and nurturing for other people. To be truthful because we very rarely tell 100% of the truth. We're so worried about what other people might think and be offended of. Political correctness has gone to that stage now. And there's nothing, it's not to, to say that you go out and say things outwardly that are um, overtly looking to um, offend people. It's not that. But have you ever said something that you thought was entirely benign and somebody's taking it for great offence? Knowing that you had no intention nor intent to offend anybody when you've said it. So we're very sensitive to this now. Speak your 100% truth from a space of being connected and being loving, lovable and valuable and you will find that that offence will drop away. And people will trust you. One of, the, one of the great benefits of speaking your truth is that people will start to trust you. And when you're in business, if you're in a sales role, if you're in any sort of role, you're in a leadership role, you're in a sales role, trust is the foundation for how everything operates. Because if I can't trust you, certainly not going to do business with you. If I can't trust you, I'm certainly not going to work at my highest output for you. Yeah. And then being responsible or responsible. Responsible for all of this. As much as responsible for the things that I do. So I hope this gives you a greater distinction um, on how we operate in the world, the pervasive way that we operate. Um, and some of the benefits that you'll get out of doing our programs uh, are in really on getting connected to who I am as a person. Thanks again for listening. I look forward to seeing you on another video.